School in the fall, it appears to be a very real possibility, but there are several big questions still lingering out there. Monroe County Public Health Commissioner Dr. Michael Mendoza answered some of those questions from parents in Brighton today. Kayla Green joining us now live from Brighton to tell us what he had to say. Kayla. Adam, Dr. Mendoza says he expects school in the fall to be done at least partially through distance learning. He says while a lot of the decisions relating to reopening schools will be made by the state and the governor, he doesn't think this is going to be a one-size-fits-all approach for all schools. He says a lot of this is going to depend on what happens this summer and if the cases in our community remain low. Dr. Mendoza says he'll be forming a task force in the next few weeks to study health risks associated with reopening schools. He says getting more research around the value and limitations of wearing a mask is key. We might be able to, to sort of relax that, that six foot uh, parameter. It may be three feet, it may be shorter. And we may do studies that show that for the duration of a bus route, um, if you're wearing a mask and you're sitting, you know, one per, one per seat, there, the risk is not going to be zero, but it may be less than 4%. Dr. Mendoza says some of the big things are masking, social distancing, disinfecting surfaces, washing hands, and screening kids at the door. He says parents, especially of younger students, will play a huge part in monitoring symptoms. A lot of people are getting the infection uh, from people that didn't know that they were sick, is the point. Um, so, and the, the challenge with that is that you don't know who is asymptomatic positive or just well. Um, what I would say is that, you know, we shouldn't be sending symptomatic people to school ever. Dr. Mendoza says his goal is to keep the new cases as isolated as possible to avoid shutting down entire schools or districts. He says we'll learn a lot during phase four. I think, honestly, if we were able to open, you know, most of the phase four activities, you know, by the end of this month or in early July, by mid August, we should have a good sense of the effectiveness of masks. We should know what the impact, if any, on community prevalence will be. And I think by mid-August, we ought to have, we'll probably know everything we're going to need to know to make a decision to open by September. Dr. Mendoza says we're at a 1% infection rate in Monroe County right now, and he expects and hopes that that will be lower throughout the summer. He says that number will make a big difference when deciding to reopen in September. Live in Brighton, Kayla Green, News 8. Kayla, thank you.